Hey everyone, let's start with a relatively new car in the collection. This is an Audi Coupe, known as a GT Coupe. It's a B2 generation. This is by Auto, so sealed resin. I always liked these as a kid. I'm an, I'm an 80s kid, so these were kind of neat cars. Now these were typically front wheel drive. Some obviously were Quattros before like Quattro was a really big deal. These were 2.2 liter, four, five cylinders. Yes, five, five cylinders. And uh, about 130 horsepower in the US. You know, they weren't turbocharged here. Nice looking car, good interior. A few little paint flaws. A little bit of missing black paint there. A little red missing there. So, you know. I kind of feel like Auto has slipped a little bit in quality control the past few years. It is what it is. You don't have open mesh. This is what car number 78 out of 2000. Not the smallest production run, but not the worst. Again, retail on a new Auto is about 129. I think I paid only like 60, 65 dollars for this. So at that price, I'm not mad at it. I have a very similar, um, I think, Turbo Quattro of a similar vintage by AutoArt, and that's opening. That's superior, but this lower end Coupe GT is exclusive so far, I think, to, uh, to this resin model. Packaging is the typical auto white box. There's really nothing to see there. On the other end of things, let's get an update on this big boy here the the Ford GT build the subscription build I've been building for a year now and it's finally on four wheels we've got the engine pretty much all done all plumbed all that wiring all the wheels and tires on now if you look at the the rear tires versus the front I've sanded the uh, the treads down I haven't done on the front yet and I highly recommend you guys do it to your models, anyone who's building anything, because tire treads should not be as shiny as the sidewalls. On a real car, obviously, they get a little dirty. So, I mean, I feel like that looks a lot more realistic. In terms of issues, the rear wheel fitment was very, very loose. Um, the screws just didn't hold them in place. They still wobble a little bit. Um, I've had to use a good amount of super glue, but they still wobble. I mean, that's just the nature of this model. And all the electronics don't work. Double checked all my wiring. And it's just, it's like a dead motherboard. And they did send me a replacement, which I appreciate a free replacement. Um, it's just, it turns into a tear up of almost disassembling things that really aren't that meant to be disassembled. So it's gonna be a static model. It's not gonna light up. If I ever sell it, I'll just sell it with the replacement uh, motherboard. Let someone else figure it out. I mean, my diecast collection is static. I don't really need it to like light up and make sound. It's just a display piece. So this is this is up to build number like 92. I think it takes about 110 to finish it. So from here on out, it should just be bodywork. So yeah, maybe in a couple more months, I'll show that all completed but it's neat that I've made it this far. This is about a year in. So yeah, so that's it for this week. Everyone have a good one. Please like and subscribe.